I'm Mike Cicchini from Cicchini Stucco Design and today I'd like to do a tutorial on how to base coat and So the first thing you should do is roll out and measure out your mesh because if it's really hot and you're in the summer you got limited time so you want to do this first before you spread your base coat out on the wall. The way to cut mesh is, you'll see these little rows of squares. You want to cut the top, hold it like that so it holds it evenly on both sides, and follow the line of squares and don't cut over the line. That way you end up with a straight edge. It's not all jagged. So when you go to cut another piece, you're already starting with a nice straight edge. That's the best way to cut. So now that I cut the other piece in a straight row and followed it right down, I don't have a jagged edge. So now the roll still has a nice fresh straight edge to overlap. Now we're going to put the base coat on the wall and then apply the mesh and trowel it in. So first, don't put too much on. Don't put too little on. That's a perfect size to start. When I do this, I'm holding my trowel like this. I'm holding my hawk like that. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to cut it off on the board to scrape it so I got that much on. It shouldn't fall off. That should be the consistency of the mud. So then I'm going to go to run. on again and I'm going to put it on to a certain thickness about an eighth of an inch okay I'm going slow right now so proper angle and it's more of putting it on with the, moving this than moving this it's actually both at the same time so I want to catch it before it drips over the edge cut it off on the board up here so I got that much on. Start from the bottom, swipe it on up. So when I'm swiping on, look at the angle of my trowel to the wall. See the space? There's about a one inch space on this edge from here to the wall. That's the angle you're looking for. And I'm not pushing too tight where I'm scraping it off. So one more time. Always keep the mud in the middle of the board from dripping off the edges. If it's getting, if it's dripping off the edge, I always scrape it and clean it. Control what's on here at all times. Nothing's dripping off. See? Now I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to show you what's too much and what's not enough. So. If you could see the texture of the foam underneath, like this, so right here, that's too thin. As you can start to see the, the burr of the foam, that's too thin. It shouldn't be all lumpy like this either, like that or like that, because then you're going to spend more time making more swipes after. The rule is minimal amount of movement. Put the right thickness on from the start and put it on as smooth as you can as you go. Not all lumpy on the wall because you're going to have to pull the excess off and add. So you, if you do that before you put on the mesh, you'll have way better results. You will go faster. You will make more money in the long run because you're doing less movements to get it the right consistency. Now, for a top, I, I slow down a little bit, I aim for the top. Okay, now I'm going to go normal speed. I like to go a little faster.
I already pre-cut this, so I'm going to put it on about an inch from the wall and tight because the underneath already underlaps. So I know I got a good overlap of at least an inch. So I put, I'm working myself, so I roll this up into a roll so I can control it a lot easier. So I roll it out smoothly without any wrinkles and travel it in. Start from one edge and work your way over. Okay, now that I've passed it over it, now I'm going to feather everything out and even out the thickness of the base plate. So I'm going to keep my towel clean. And I'm going to start from the top edge. I always start working from the top down. So wherever I see mesh, it's a little thin. So that excess, I'm going to cover that first. Now I'm going to start the feathering. And I'm going to lead with this edge of the trowel. Top edge. And I always keep both sides clean. Now I'm going to show you what's too thin, what's not enough, and what's too much. Okay. If you zoom in here, you can see the mesh. That's obviously too thin. The trick is, if you hear this noise, you're scraping the trowel off the mesh. You're not putting it thick enough. It should sound, it should feel smooth and sound smooth as opposed to, you shouldn't hear that, that's how you know, because you, and you can see the squares of the mesh, it's too thin. Over here, this is the consistency you want. So right in this area is finished, it's feathered in, there's no lines. So you don't have to spend time sanding them out later. It's a waste of time, a waste of money. You don't need to. If you just travel it right the first time, you'll make the most amount of money doing stucco. Down here, you should kind of see the bumps. It's too thick there. So that tells you to scrape it down. See? It's too thick. That's fine. It's, it's easy to fix. And what we, I like doing is tapering off the bottom edge because that's where I'm going to overlap. I don't want to hump there. So I'll, about from here to here, I'll skim it tight. And that's where my, uh, my other piece of mesh is going to overlap. So I can tell it's too heavy there. And I want the whole wall to look smooth the same with very minimal seams. So we don't have to do any sanding. So I'll just finish this wall off. you base coat and mesh a wall. That's how it should look. You shouldn't see the mesh or lines. They need to be feathered out. <laughs>